Welcome back to Wisconsin Tonight. The Date Safe Project is an internationally known project created by someone from our area. It educates people about healthy dating, intimacy, sexual assault, and respect for other people. And joining us tonight is Mike Domish. He is the founder of the Date Safe Project, and this project is very important. It's near and dear to your heart, Mike. Can you share with us why you are doing this? Yes, for us it's very personal. In 1989, I was a college student, and I received a phone call that one of my sisters had been raped. Mm -hmm. Couldn't believe what I was hearing, and I became angry. And I went from becoming an angry brother to being a brother who wanted to make a positive impact. And we started speaking out, and that's where it all began. You've wow. written articles, uh, created some videos about dating. What are some of the first things that parents should do when their children reach the age of when they start dating? You know, Mike, it's an important question because a lot of times parents make the mistake of only focusing on what they don't want their kids to do. You know, don't get pregnant, don't go too far, don't <laughs> do this. What happens is the kids don't have anything to actually do. So one of the things we do is we teach students a skill set on how to make the right choices with their boundaries and sexual decision making. That is critical. If you don't know what to do, you're going to guess, you're going to get some really bad mm. advice from friends on the internet. Yeah, you're right about that. Now, sexual assault is serious, and that's something that adults really want to know how to talk to their children about this. What do you tell a child who might have been sexually assaulted or is dealing with that with a friend or their lives? You know, Carol, this is a really important point because one of the first things you want to do is understand how difficult that was for the child to even come forward and let them know that. The first thing a parent wants to say or any loved one wants to say is thank you. Thank you mm. so much for mm. sharing. Clearly you are strong. You are courageous. Mm. What can I do to help? And then you listen. Too often parents make the mistake of who did this? Yeah. And like it, they're yeah. filled with rage and that scares yeah. the survivor right. even right. more and they want to shut down. Right. You don't want to do that. You want to be comforting. You want to help them come forward and feel supported. Mm -hmm. That's very profound because a lot of people make that mistake. They do. They let their anger their take emotions. over the support the survivor needs. Yeah. Yeah. Good point, Mike. You know, we understand you travel all over the country, really all over the world with a program. The program is called Can I Kiss You? Uh, what are some of the themes that you touch on there? If it's with middle schools and high schools, there are three major themes. One, respect of boundaries. A lot of teenagers, they've never even thought about what are my yeah. boundaries? You know, how far would I go or yeah. not go with somebody? So one, establishing boundaries and honoring your boundaries and your partners at all times. Mm -hmm. Number two, using your voice. Before you become intimate with somebody, ask. Mm -hmm. Look, if you can't even talk about whether you want to kiss somebody or do something more, Clearly you're not comfortable enough or you're not ready, and that's good to know, so ask first. And the third thing we do is teach bystander intervention, which means you're at a party, mm -hmm. you see somebody giving somebody alcohol to try ah. to facilitate a sexual situation. In other words, setting up a sexual assault. Exactly. How to actually step in and stop that scene from happening in mm -hmm. a way that's non-confrontational that every student can easily do. Just by listening to you, Mike, I think your <laughs> seminar is going to really, you're helping people all over the world. You know, we're grateful because excellent. we get to work in schools. We get to work with the U.S. military. We get to work with parents in just revealing simple strategies everybody can use in their life instantly and implement right away. Yeah, Mike, thanks excellent. a lot for coming yeah. in. Well, oh, thank you for having me. Thank, thank you pleasure. so much. Mike. Founder of the Date Safe Project, Mike Domish, and we put a link for more information on our website, tmj4.com slash Wisconsin Tonight.